Lego's got so much now. The kids will love this. With the Mindstorms, children learn by discovery. Children spend so much time writing out sums, writing out essays, listening to the teacher, but actually doing something with what they're learning, they don't get a chance to do that. So this enables them to do that in the school environment. I think that's quite unique, actually. We really, really like it. All the girls like it. We didn't, at first we thought, you know, oh, it's technical, great, you know, this isn't going to be so fun. But then you really get into it and you find it, wow, you know, this is actually really interesting. It's really good. Yeah, so it's, it's kind of for everyone. My, my song's for everyone, not just for boys as you think it would be. I've seen children of all ages. Uh, use Mindstorms. I'm a big child myself and I enjoy it, so uh, that filters filters all the way down from, from adult age uh, down to as young as you can click things together, really. OK, guys, if you could just stop what you're doing and listen to me, please. I'm going to set you a challenge. It's going to be in competition with the other group. So it's the first one to do it. We're going to start here. I'm going to make up a programme in these four, five stages here. I'm going to get him to drive along forwards and come down to this position. We're going to turn a sound on there. And when the sound's on, I want you to reverse the robot back and I want you to stop him in between the two oranges. The challenge is set up over here on the table. It's going to be the first team to complete it wins. All right, off you go then. The Lego Mindstorm educational concept is a progressing learning platform that will enable you, your students, all the way from elementary school to university level. As you can see also, it is extremely appealing in its design. It looks like everything we know from real robotics world. It's a contemporary design. I think because it's technology and children uh, love technology, then they feel that they just want to attack it, uh, grab it with both hands uh, and start working. The brighter children will push further with what type of construction they add how complicated their programs are getting. Whereas children who perhaps aren't as academic, um, they will still be able to achieve a basic level of programming, a basic level of construction. You can go really far and go really technical, or you can just stay in a very little level and make it do very not so big things like lift something up, move it, put it down. You can, you know, practically stand back and let the child do it themselves. The model used in the robot educator has, as you can see here, a motor attached to the side, a motor module attached to the side, where you actually can spin this to kick off a ball or any other obstacle. The ultrasonic sensors that sit on the top as a, as a head will enable you to read distances toward any other obstacle. The sound sensor that we have on the side is where you will get a reaction. The improved light sensor we have here will read different level of lights and tell you maybe whether you meet a red or a blue obstacle. So first of all you want it to move forward, use the ultrasound sensor, the light sensor and then hit the ball. Okay, go for it.
not great at the academic side, but maybe they can see something and come up with a solution. Maybe they can't apply it, but one of the team members will hear that and they'll think, oh, you're right, but I know how to do that, and they'll do it. And that's where the teamwork comes in. I've always wanted to be coach something to do with engineering or a patent agent, things like that to do with engineering. Now, having the Lego, it's made me really more interested in how it works. I think it has enabled some children in the classroom to shine, really have an opportunity to shine and stand out amongst their peers, which is really important that you get some street cred. It's very rewarding as a teacher seeing them enjoy themselves, seeing them get results that they're happy with, seeing them uh, answer problems that you've set them, uh, and, and seeing them just build things that they want to build.